is now two viewers who have come forward to us in just the past, past few weeks. And as you mentioned, uh, upset at a uh, local popular chain store. They're upset at some of the handling, they say, by new groomers in training and say that this all does raise questions. It could have been 30 seconds a minute and he may not be here. All over a nail trim. Lori Yurkovich took her nine year old pug Steeler in for what she thought would be a quick nail trim at the Ross Petco on McKnight Road. But she says she would get Steeler back 30 hours later after an emergency. She tells us she watched as groomers began to secure Steeler for the nail trim, but that one of the groomers then yelled out, The lead is too tight. After she said it's on too tight, the second time he just dropped to the, to, onto the table. His legs were sprawled out and he just looked like he was dead. Her animal, now unconscious, was rushed to the veterinarian. Yurkovich says she was taken aback to hear Petco employees infer that Steeler had a seizure. She says the vet soon confirmed this was no seizure, but rather an apparent asphyxiation, albeit an accidental one. Yurkovich says this is another incident which, in her mind, should require more licensing requirements for animal groomers. When I talked to the Petco manager, you know, this person is so called right now on a probation period um, and he's not touching any animals. But do I know that for sure? I don't know. I think they, should, they need to be certified. In a statement from Petco, they told us in part, quote, we provide grooming services to thousands of happy customers every day. Any incident reported to us is investigated immediately. We take appropriate action to understand and resolve the situation, and we take responsibility and corrective action as appropriate. Lori and Steeler's cases are no exception. And so more questions raised by people whether groomers need to be licensed or not. But uh, meanwhile, Lori says that Petco is committing to paying these vet bills. She says it's not about the money. She just wants these uh, mistakes to stop once and for all. Print Lab Manager Del Greco, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.